hello guys welcome back in this video we will explore the use state react hook to see how we can save the data how we can update the data and how we can render the updated data on the ui to see how let's get started so we have a hello world react js project and to get started uh, let's start from an example of a counter because we have a counter with some initial value we then we will update the counter value and then we uh, will show the updated counter value on the ui so all of that will be done using a use state hook right so let's declare a variable called counter and with initial value of zero and instead of the, this hello world let's say uh, we are showing the counter value save it so it's showing zero and if you suppose change it to three save it and it is showing three right so let's do uh, add two buttons one for the increment and one for the decrement of the counter so let's add those uh, we can say that this is for the one is for the increment and one is for the decrement right and let's declare two functions as well one for the decrement and one will be for the increment so in the decrement we will be doing counter is equal to counter minus one and in the dec uh, increment we will be doing the opposite so it will be increment and instead of minus one it will be plus one and on click we will just call the decrement function here and let's copy it and declare a increment here right let's save it here you go two button decrement and increment and right now where uh, these are not updating mm, the value on the ui right now but this this would be calling decrement function and increment function and the counter value will be incremented and decremented but it is only incremented decremented here the variable is incremented or decremented based on the function but actually our component is not re-rendering right to see uh, let's do a console here all right you can say that uh, the value of counter suppose here copy and copy it here as well save it and let's show the console clear okay and you see decremented and incremented as well but it is not re-renting so here comes the power of u state so what that will be doing is that will be getting the initial values as well as it will be updating the values and it will be re-rendering our component so that the updated value is shown on the ui so let's go ahead and start import the u state hook from sorry from react and here we will be declaring it u state and we will be giving it the initial value so suppose initial value is still, is still 3 what it will be doing is it will be returning two objects I, I, I mean it will be returning an array with with two values and let's directly uh, we can uh, save it in any variable called array or we can destructure it right away so that uh, we get first value as a counter and the second value with it will be giving a function uh, which we can call to update its value so the convention is that we declare the value here and for the function we declare it as like set counter we add a set before this variable so suppose the variable is data so we will say set data variable name is suppose name we will say its name set name email set email right so this is the convention but you can use any variable or any function name here right let's remove this and 
still we can use this variable counter here it now it will be a uh, state right and here instead of uh, directly updating the state variable uh, we will be doing is like set counter and we will be giving it the value we wanna to set so so we wanna decrement it so it will be counter minus one and here we will be doing counter plus one right let's remove this one and these two lines as well save it uh, let's remove this one as well so let's close this one okay so you see decrementing and this is incrementing so, right it is working fine so what we are doing is we are declaring a state with the initial value 3 it is return, returning an array with two objects one is actually the state the second one is the very uh, the function which we can call to update the state right here we are updating the state right if suppose uh, we update it to suppose here 100 on the decrement it will do uh, state to 100 decrement 100 right so we can up give here the whatever uh, the value we want to see give uh, to be shown on the ui or we want to set want to set in the uh, this state variable so let's right and uh, what it will be doing is as soon as the the state changes it will re-render our component right so suppose uh, let's console here so re-render here and let's inspect it you see every time the value is changing it is re-rendering our component here right so that the updated value is shown on the ui right and here uh, if it is operating or updating only once it will work counter value the old counter value minus one it will work but if suppose it is we uh, have to update it two or three times right so it won't work let me show it is value is three and decrement it is only decremented one but we have decremented it three times that is because the counter value is not changing right right away so to uh, get the updated value on the next line we can use its uh, another uh, uh, we can we can use uh, its function value here instead of directly updating the value so that will give us the previous state and we wanna set it uh, the previous minus one the, it will be giving us the previous counter value here and here we will be doing is uh, we are just uh, decrementing it by one so if we do this three times right uh, instead of doing this it will now actually uh, decrement three at a time right and so it will go here you go minus three it is so if it is zero it is minus three minus six so decrementing three at a time right alright so also uh, here we are updating uh, or the giving the initial value uh, 3 right away so what it will be doing is on every render of the application it will be getting this 3 uh, re-initializing it to 3, three. So suppose uh, let's do one thing here to elaborate it a little more so suppose we have a function called uh, get initial value uh, so it returns was 3 or f okay 3 and here we call get initial value right save it refresh it is getting 3 value here and suppose if we, if we console it here to show that get uh, initial value to I'm consoling here to show that uh, every only every re-render this function will be called. Sorry, console.log. 
okay. So, you see you see get initial value is called every time our uh, app component is re-rendered. So, suppose if the initial value is very uh, I mean it is very computive or uh, you see that uh, if it is called every time of on re-render it might slow down our app then we can use its the callback function. So, what we need to do uh, here is it will we need only return uh, we can return the value in a callback right. So, you state either we can directly assign the value here or we can directly call this function here or we can use a callback. So, that uh, in, in the callback we will return the value. So, here what it will be doing is it will call our initial value function only once. Let us save it refresh suppose refresh it is called get initial value and no I am incrementing and decrementing it but it is not calling get initial value again and again and again right. So, in that uh, use case we can use the callback function here right and also instead of uh, just initial value as 3 we can return any uh, composite state as well. So, suppose we can say that counter is counter value is 1 or 3 and then suppose another variable another variable um, might be that is a string right we can return this type of state as well. So, here instead of the counter it will be uh, we can declare a uh, generic name uh, set state and here instead of the counter we going to say state dot counter and here one where we have are updating the state it will be giving us uh, set state and here as well set state and instead of the counter uh, what we need to return here or the update here is the same signature the same if we if it, it was a single digit we will be setting up a digit here if it, it was a string we will updating a string if it is a, an object we will be updating here as an object right. So, here what we will be doing is in previous state uh, let us do a function and what it do is return a uh, object which have counter of previous state dot counter minus 1 right and if we omit the another variable here it will uh, we won't be able to uh, get the the value in in the render so every time we update the state we have to give both of these variables either we can say that another variable is equal, is again setting its uh, to uh, its old value we can say the previous dot uh, previous dot another variable or what we can do is we can destructure whatever the previous value was of uh, of the state and we can only update whatever is updated. So, previous value it will contain both counter and other va variable and here we are only uh, we were we are overriding uh, the counter right. So, let us copy it and in the increment let us do a plus 1 right save it it is just the same but plus minus everything the functionality is the same but we have here we have used a uh, composite uh, state instead of just the numeric right and also the other way uh, could be that uh, instead of declaring the composite here we can declare uh, multiple states here. So, the other state could be uh, use state uh, we can call it 
the initial value to be string and it will return the same to object uh, in an array. So, first we can call an other var and set an other var right and we can meet it from here or even we can only return this counter right only one variable right. So, here we, we are declaring uh, instead of using composite uh, state we are declaring two states. So, it will return only the counter. So, let us quickly do it counter counter another variable and here we will be doing is set counter to because we here we have only one uh, so one variable so it will we can set it directly to uh, the whatever was previously previous minus one and here it will be previous plus two right and if we want to change uh, this another variable here as well suppose we want to change set another var to suppose string well, well, let us call it decrement and here we can change it to increment right and here is instead of getting from the state it it will be directly fetched uh, directly fetched from here and let's show uh, that uh, another variable as well right so that we can see that both of states are working so by default its value was str and if we decrement it it is set to decrement and if it is increment it is set to increment all right and uh, there are few uh, rules for the hooks so one is that these hooks can only be used in the functional components these cannot be used in the uh, the class components and the second thing is that we have to use the hooks at a very upper level of the components so we cannot use it conditionally so suppose uh, we cannot say that if uh, suppose true uh, declare this we cannot do this right you see react use state is called conditionally react hooks must be called in the exact same order in every component render so we cannot call it conditionally or we cannot call it in a loop or switch or anything so so a, on every render the order should be exactly the same it was for the first time so the first time this state and then this state so if it is conditionally then uh, it will skip this one but that is not allowed in using uh, while using the hooks this and this is applicable to all of the hooks that uh, including your state and other hooks we will cover in uh, other videos all right so in summary what it does uh, use state does is it gets the initial value gives us two variables one is uh, actually the state value and other one is the function which we can call to update the state right and when we have to update the state uh, either we can directly set its value to something or if we need the previous value the good approach is that we get the previous value and then update it so that uh, it, if it is called multiple times it is updated right and third thing is that on every change of the state it re-renders the component so that we can get the updated value here right so that is it on the use state hook if you have any question please let me know in the comments below and if you enjoyed the video please hit like and subscribe to my channel see you in next video thank you